the sixth topic is to relate geometric sequences to exponential functions it might sound fancy but what they want is basically to find few terms of the geometric sequence and graph it and when you graph you realize the graph is exponential function graph now we will see this you have been told the sequence is a geometric sequence so don't go to find the common ratio for all the terms it's similar to arithmetic sequence only the thing is over here a common ratio is being multiplied now don't go to find 8 divided by 32 and 2 divided by 8 no because they've already told it's a geometric sequence now just look for simple numbers over here 2 and 8 are simple so i'll do 2 divided by 8 that is one fourth or quarter or 0 0.25 so this is the ratio that is our step one to find the common ratio and once we have found that you can easily multiply this to the last term to get the next three terms so two multiplied by a quarter is half half my over here how what happens basically multiply quarter means you divide by four so one two times and then the same thing over here you need to keep on multiplying the denominator by four it's multiply quarter you can use a calculator so it's one by eight and then four eight fours are 32 so one by 32 so these are the next three terms it's not over you need to graph them when you graph them the domain is always one two three it starts from one and it goes on until how many numbers you're how many terms you're graphing so here you have this domain because we have six terms to graph one two three four five six domain is always one two three four five six and over here the range is these values now when you graph them look over here this was a huge value 32 at one but then it drops down because you're multiplying by a quarter eight and then it's down down and this gives you an exponential uh, function look a uh, graph so that's it so this is how we solve it very basic very simple all you need to do is find the next terms and then graph them up that's it remember the domain is always starting from one two three they have asked you a few terms how many total terms are there six terms so domain will be one to six the first point whatever the values are they will be the y-axis the domain is the x-axis for each number of terms it's basically this is a1 isn't it this is a2 a3 so one two that is the domain now we will look into the problems which are mentioned in the exam scheme 14 to 17 do this by yourself these they are all geometric sequence so just find the next three terms by finding the common ratio you can easily find the next three terms and then what you need to do is graph them up okay so we either one two three four five six seven terms similarly find all the other terms i'm sorry there's a comma missing over here 256 512 you can do it by yourself and then graph it and then check the answer so please do by yourself then only refer the answers to check uh, for, for checking your values when you only solve more and more problems you'll be thorough otherwise you might be stuck during the final exam